Hi, my name is Hogan Van Sickle and I'm a quadriplegic. I was in a car accident about three years ago and I decided that I wanted to start making some videos because there were not a lot that I could find on tips or tricks or different things to try at home. Uh, I have come up with making a lot of little simple inventions just to be able to accomplish some of the things that I want to do, such as uh, one of my favorite things to do is eating popcorn. So I created a bowl with a strap that I could use to be able to feed myself popcorn because the goal of everything I do is complete independence and trying not to depend on anyone else for anything. So um, a little bit about me is, like I said, my name is Hogan Van Sickle. I'm 36 years old. I grew up in Cincinnati, Ohio, and I went to college at University of South Carolina, where I got my bachelor's in business management and went through to get my master's in human resources. Then I worked for a great company uh, as a human resources manager and a regional HR manager. And um, then I started working in Wyoming as a labor relations manager. And at that point, I had just bought a brand new convertible. I was driving it home for the very first time and it fishtailed on gravel. And when I went to correct it, the entire car flipped and I was on my head on the interstate. So I had the guy behind me. Um, he got out and he was talking to me, trying to keep me awake while um, the ambulance came and they had to help cut me out of the car and then on to the hospital where they airlifted me to um, Salt Lake City. And I stayed there for about three months where I spent probably six weeks in the ICU, uh, battled really bad pneumonia and uh, almost if it could happen to me, it did at the hospital. Uh, I almost died, I believe my mom said five times so good for her for sticking in there. Uh, she stayed by my side. She flew to Char or from Charlotte, North Carolina to um, Salt Lake City to be there. And she never left my bedside for the whole three months I was there. Mom rock. Um, now uh, I live in Charlotte, North Carolina with the rest of my family. And uh, Let's see, I now am doing my best to study, to try to get into law school. I want to be able to fight for disability rights. There are lots of things that I see on a daily basis that are absolutely horrible and counterproductive for people with disabilities because I want nothing more than to be on my own. I don't want to have to depend on Medicaid. I don't want to have to depend on any type of federal assistance. I just want to be able to go back to work full time. And there are so many pieces of Medicaid and other laws that are holding me back and preventing me from being able to do that. Uh, I can give you one example with Medicaid. Um, because my disability payment is so high that I have to spend most of it um, on Medicaid to qualify and they leave me with $261 per month and that is for my living expenses. It's for food, entertainment, anything I want to do that month. I have $261 to do it with which nobody can live off of that um, and have a semi-decent life. Um, I could never move out on my own for that amount of money. Um, and uh, I can go back and get a job. However, if I work more than, or if I, sorry, if I earn more than $600 in a month, then Medicaid takes away the services 
that get me in and out of bed every day. So um, this is a real problem uh, for me because I would love to be able to go to work, but I cannot afford to pay a caregiver, um, you know, six, seven hours a day just to be able to get up to go to work. Uh, and especially if I'm not making enough money as it is. So uh, I wanted to make this series. Uh, I will be doing probably several different videos. Um, some of just small inventions that I've done that you could replicate at home. Others, I will show you some of the assistive technology that I have put into my room, making it pretty much completely voice activated. And um, I can also walk you through uh, if I get accepted into law school, or I also applied for a doctoral program for social justice. Um, if I get into either one of those, I will definitely leave a chronology of my life and what it's like to go through school through college without being able to use my hands and how I do it, how I take notes, how I pay attention in class. Um, you know, these are things I really don't have an answer for yet, but I would love for you to be there with me while I figure it out. So anyway, this is kind of the inaugural hello video. If you have any questions or comments, feel free to leave them in the box below and I will do my best to answer them as quickly as possible. Thank you so much and you have a wonderful day.